So here in Arizona, we have a ton of choices for places to live. And one of those that maybe hasn't been at the top of your list is right here in the city of Mesa. Now, a lot of people maybe think of Mesa as being kind of on the old and worn out side. There are sections of town that fit that to a T. However, Mesa is reinventing itself and it deserves a second look because there's a lot more to this area than you might realize. Mesa is the largest suburb in the United States. There are over half a million people who live here. It's the third largest city in Arizona behind Phoenix and Tucson. In today's video, we're gonna explore a little bit of what this area has to offer. It's got a robust downtown. It's got a lot of outdoor activities and a ton of things to offer the residents who call this place home. So let's check out all the offerings right here in the fine city of Mesa, Arizona. So to start our tour of the city of Mesa, we're gonna start right here in the downtown core. This is a pretty good snapshot of what is going on in Mesa as a whole. It is one of Arizona's oldest commercial centers and it's trying to have some new life breathed into it via new businesses, new ventures. We're gonna talk about some of those here in just a minute, but this is really a great gathering place for the people of the city. There are a lot of events down here. Some of the favorites include the second Friday night out. That's a really popular one where you're gonna have local artists with exhibits. They have food vendors, entertainment contests. It's a great way to spend a Friday night. They also do a weekly farmer's market down here. So you're gonna be able to get local food, arts and crafts, all kinds of things right here in downtown Mesa. Another favorite stop in downtown Mesa is right here at the Arizona Museum of Natural History. So this is going to be a great place to take your family or kids. They have some wonderful exhibits. They're going to talk about life here in the southwest from the early Native American tribes and early settlers all the way back to the prehistoric dinosaurs that used to roam the area millions of years ago. There's even an outdoor exhibit. So if you want to learn how to pan for gold, that's going to be the place to do it. So it's a ton of fun, a great place to spend a day here in Mesa. Downtown is also home to the Mesa Art Center, and this is the largest art center in the entire state. They have four theaters, five art galleries, and 14 art studios. So this is a great place to come. They have a full calendar on their website that is gonna show all the art exhibits that are currently on display, as well as all of the shows that are performing in the theaters. Downtown Mesa also has a ton to offer in terms of the restaurant scene. And one of my absolute favorites is this place right here. This is Tacos Chihuahuas, and it's one of the best Mexican restaurants you're gonna find anywhere in the state of Arizona. So the owners brought their Chihuahua style Mexican food here to the States, and we are all better for it. This place is super popular. It's been on Netflix, it's been on the Food Network, all kinds of publicity, and it's well-deserved. They have delicious tacos and burritos served on homemade tortillas. Everything here made in-house. It is absolutely fantastic. A must try when you're here in Mesa. And while Arizona may be famous for its Mexican food, that doesn't mean that we don't have a broad variety of cuisine. And one of the examples of that is this place right here. This is Que Chevre, and it is a fantastic place. It is Venezuelan style cuisine. So you're gonna have arepas, empanadas, all kinds of really good options. And it really represents some of the diversity you get in the food choices here in Arizona. Now, if you're in the mood for something more on the comfort food side of things, then this place behind me is fantastic. This is Gus's world famous fried chicken and people will stand in line for hours for this stuff. It is absolutely amazing. People love this place. They even have homemade pies. So if you have a sweet tooth after your dinner, it's gonna be a perfect spot for you. Downtown Mesa is also home to quite a few breweries. So this one behind me is the Oro Brewing Company. Everybody really likes this place. I've actually never been myself, but it's on my list of places to try. 12 West is another favorite of the locals. It's just down the street. Lots of good choices if you're looking to have a drink with friends after work, uh, for happy hour, whatever your pleasure. So we're standing in front of another brewery that's on the way. Right behind me is an old service station that is being revitalized into Petal House Brewery. This place is a favorite amongst people who live in the valley. And this is a great example of what Mesa is trying to do. It's a rebirth. They are taking an old service station and transforming it into a hip, cool brewery. It's gonna be a great place to hang out. Lots of promise on the way for the city of Mesa. So another cool business that's on the way is right here at Level 1 Arcade Bar. There's already a location in downtown Gilbert that's super popular. This is gonna be location number two. And a lot of people are excited about this. So it is gonna have 
old school arcade and pinball machines, as well as beverages for those who are 21 and over. Now, kids are welcome to come here. However, they do have to be accompanied by someone 21 and over, and they have to vacate the premises by 7 p.m. Mesa is very active in trying to attract new businesses to the downtown core. They even have a dedicated downtown transformation office whose sole purpose is to assist a small business owner with all of those red tape requirements that can be so cumbersome. So they will help you secure a location, whether that means securing a lease or purchasing a property, they are there to help you with that. They will also help you with zoning, permitting, licensing, all those things that can hang up small business development, they will help get you through that process. All of this is provided at no cost to the business owner. One of the massive redevelopment projects going on here in downtown Mesa is right behind me. This is going to be called The Grid, and it's going to completely transform this area. So the idea was to take an old parking garage and basically wrap a bunch of housing and shops around it. It's really something else. So down on the bottom floor, there are gonna be restaurants and shops accessible at street level that are gonna be wonderful additions to the downtown core. The grid will also feature 14,000 square feet of office and co-working space, as well as 196 of what they're calling sky apartments. These are gonna be located on floors four through seven. They're all gonna have expansive views of the city. It's gonna have a two-story grand lobby, as well as access to the planned roof rooftop bar. The grid will also feature 75 urban flats, which are going to be a cozy 450 square feet and have some built-in furniture. They're going to be a little bit more on the affordable side. They will also have 15 three-level row homes that can be available for purchase. Another perk of downtown Mesa is that it is connected to the Valley Metro light rail system. So this is the easternmost stop and it will take you in further to Tempe and all the way down to downtown Phoenix. So if you are looking for public transportation, Mesa is a great option where that can be a little bit limited in other parts of the valley. So a couple other favorite ways to spend time in Mesa. Number one, spring training. That is a huge deal here in Arizona. So there are clubs from all around Major League Baseball that have facilities here. Right here in Mesa is the home to the Chicago Cubs, and that is a big draw in this town, so you definitely need to check that out if you're here in the springtime. And another favorite Arizona pastime, the sport of golf. We have a ton of courses all over the place, and we're at one of the best ones in all of the Phoenix Metro. This is Las Sendas. This is kind of the crown jewel of Mesa golf. This is always ranked as one of the 10 best places to play in the valley, and it's a fantastic course. It's kind of hilly because we're tucked up into the foothills of the Usury Mountains, but that is great because it gives you some picturesque views as you try to keep your ball in the fairway. So just around the corner from Las Sendas is this place. This is the Usury Mountains, and this is a huge area. There's a regional park where you can come to enjoy the trails. That's the big draw around this place. There are hiking, biking, and horseback trails. So whatever your vehicle, there's a great way to spend your time here exploring this beautiful outdoor area. So when the weather turns too hot for hiking, mountain biking, or any of the outdoor activities on land, you can come here and enjoy access to the water and the Salt River right behind me, right here in Mesa. So this is Granite Reef Recreation Area. This is a popular spot for kayakers, stand-up paddle boarders. And the big draw in this area is also to go on a trip with Salt River Tubing. So what they're gonna do is shuttle you up towards Saguaro Lake, drop you off with an inner tube if you need one, and then allow you and your friends to enjoy a nice, cool stroll down this scenic waterway. From the up and coming downtown to all the great recreational opportunities that Mesa affords, this really is a great place to live. So if you are interested in relocating to Arizona, please check the links down below in the description. I have some helpful ones for you. Number one, my Arizona relocation guide, gonna give you a ton of helpful information. Number two is the AZ Dream Home Questionnaire. That is gonna give me some great feedback on what you value in terms of a place to live and help me make a good recommendation on an area of the valley to call home. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate your support. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you find this video helpful. I'll see you again very soon in the next video.